Once again, it's Carl Gwynn here with Win with Gwynn RV Reviews. We thought we'd take a little look at the Winnebago Solus Pocket. This particular unit, we have put a few little upgrades on this. Love the uh, LED lights up top here. But these wheels down below, front and back, all the way around, that's an upgraded wheel package. Some of you may be noticing the WeBoost antenna right here. So that does have a WeBoost system. Love the outdoor table from Winnebago. This is a great concept here. Uh, this table is adjustable up and down, so if we're on unlevel ground, I can raise and lower this to make sure that the table is level, so if I set something on there, um, even a crock pot or something cooking outdoors. Um, love that the free refrigerator is just inside the door. The reason I like that is this door can spin all the way open. It is very, very easy for me to sit here and stand outside the unit and load the refrigerator and freezer without having to uh, actually go up inside the coach. This particular unit, if you look here, I'm gonna look, just show you the equipment package. There's the tires, those are motos. It does have a WeBoost system, 3M black grill uh, wrap, and telescoping lug wrench. Great cabinetry up here. I love how these lock. Winnebago did a good job if you pull those open. You've got good storage in here. Notice they brace their cabinets with steel bracing. That's a steel brace, so everything is braced. They do put a fantastic fan right here. This fantastic fan is run on a ball bearing system. You can adjust it to open automatically when it gets to a certain temperature in here. And you can also use the <clears throat> max air vent covers to open this. This is all done with remote control. It shows right there, you can see the temperature indoors the temperatures outdoors it tells you if the vent is up down great great system and this uh this table here this can be moved however you want it is in a stationary position right here but you can twist turn pull that different areas if you wanted to use it as a workstation you could sit here you've got all your uh, plug-ins your usb ports you've got also smog detector down below <clears throat> bed system. Here's your little kitchen and of course uh, kitchen cabinetry. Up here I'm going to point out real quick uh, we've got the uh, Zamp solar system. This is a solar controller. Here's your Winnebago. This will check all of your uh, like for example your batteries, your gray tank which we have empty. It'll tell you if your water pumps on or not and that's where you turn your water pump on is right here. And then very quickly I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Truma system. Uh, but this Truma system, let me turn it on here. You can just select your interior degrees. Notice I've got the coach selected here and it's on gas. So it's going to use propane to heat. And I can set that for say 73 degrees, turn it on and it will keep it 73 degrees. And fan, let's turn that back to off. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> the Truma system you're going to love. That's a, a very, very quiet system. Uh, it's, it's very efficient. You won't have a lot of hot pockets or cold pockets. Notice this is a magnet, so when that comes open, I don't have to hold it. It stays open. Uh, unlock, unlike a lot of RVs, put those up, and you have to hold them with one hand while you put everything else in. This both the cabinet, the cabinet doors are magnetic. They'll stay open until you actually pull them down and close it. <clears throat> little bed system here. Um, if anybody has dogs or animals, this little gate right here is awesome. That little gate separates anybody or anything from going back into our little garage area, which is down underneath. And I'm not sure how clear my camera is going to pick this up, but you look under here, you've got a lot of little storage pockets. Right down in here, this is our, this is gonna be our fuse panels right in here. But the rest of that is gonna be all storage. Notice down on the floor, you've got tie downs right here. And that's the same type of system. And remember I mentioned the table outside, that's the same type of system that is um, in the outside holding that table. So everything's adjustable. Right underneath the bed here, USB. Looks like a little heat. Uh, you've got some heat ports coming out. And of course, sleeping up above, you've got your own lights that you can turn on and off when you're laying in bed. 
Air conditioner right up above, that's a manual air conditioner. It's not on thermostatic control. That is definitely uh, a, a plus when you're laying in bed. If you wanted to turn the air conditioning on, if it starts heating up in the morning, all you gotta do is reach up, turn the switch on, and, and you've got air conditioning. Love the total blackout curtains. These are also on a zip a zipper. So very quick and easy, I can open those up. You got a nice view of the outside. This happens to be the business side of things, so we see everybody else's cables. And out this, out the passenger side, this is the party side, so not too much going on out here. Anyway, guys, very, very quick, quick rundown on our brand new Winnebago Solus. I have these in stock. This particular one has been marked down substantially. It's uh, going into our holiday season. It's a brand new 2023. And with the wheels and tires and the Wii Boost, uh, they've, they've aggressively priced this to sell. It is indoors here at my brand new location in Mesa, Arizona. If anybody wants to swing by and take a look at this, I am here. Uh, towing capacity. A lot of customers ask me about towing capacity on this. And that is it doesn't have a lot of towing capacity here. Let's see what we got. 3,500. So we can pull something up to 3,500 pounds. You could pull a motorcycle, uh, ATV, whatever you got, quads. Remember, we talked about the, uh, <clears throat> the system that you can actually tie things down. These are movable. You can move them from side to side. And then I've also got some up in here on both sides over here, right in here. And there's our hose that hooks up out here. Here's our spray port. Again, this is an extra solar panel. Remember we talked about the ZAMP solar system? This is where you could hook up an extra solar panel. And these are going to be 12 volt and USB. So, and 110 out back. So if you wanted to bring a barbecue or anything like that, there's some of our dump. This dumps the gray water. And when you're not using that, this covers and snaps in place. And looks a lot better. Anyway, guys, got the screen on this one. Backup camera, Wii Boost. Again, if you wanted to take a shower outdoors, notice this bar that's connected to the door here. This bar comes across and connects to that bar that's running up and down. Since I only have one hand, I can't really connect them, but those two bars connect, and it's about eye level. I'm five foot eight, and so those bars are at about eye level. You can actually put a, put a curtain across there that they have, and lo and behold, you can shower outdoors right between your two doors right there. Uh, so that's what this unit's really designed for since we don't have a, a shower indoors. Guys, if you want any specs on this, remember, this is just a quick walkthrough. Uh, this is nothing technical. I can get you any technical data you need, but if you want, call me directly. Uh, my personal cell phone's 480-703. 2352. I would be happy to do a video call with you. I'd be happy to do a second video pointing out more specifications. Uh, or I'd be happy to do a photo session on any RV we've got in inventory. Again, it's Carl Gwynn with Win with Gwynn RV Reviews. I hope you like this. Please smash the like channel, smash the subscribe button. Uh, this is new for me. I've done a couple of videos and sure would like to get a couple of people following me. Uh, that would mean a lot. Again, any questions, please feel free to reach me. Again, it's Carl Gwynn. Hope you enjoyed the video.